Suppose you're tasked with computing 3128 raised to the power of 37 mod 5251. This means finding the remainder when 3128 to the power of 37 is divided by 5251. While calculating modulo n is straightforward in principle, the challenge here lies in the size of the value of 3128 to the power of 37, which results in a number with 130 digits. This is far beyond what most calculators can handle. The square and multiply algorithm is an efficient way to compute large powers in modular arithmetic, such as in this example. It is often used in cryptography and other applications requiring repeated exponentiation. Here's what the algorithm looks like. To compute m to the power of e mod n for large powers of e, write the exponent e in binary and express it as a binary expansion. In step 2, compute m to the power of 2, to the power of 4, to the power of 8, all the way to m to the power of 2 to the power of t mod n, where 2 to the power of t is the highest power of 2 in the binary expansion of e. Finally, to obtain m to the power of e mod n, Multiply together the appropriate m to the power of 2i values that correspond to the non-zero bits of the binary expansion of E modulo n. Let's take a look at an example where we put this all together. In the first of two examples that I've prepared in this series, we have the example we started with, 3128 to the power of 37 mod 5251. According to step number one, we have to write the exponent 37 as a binary expansion. But before we can do that, we have to write this as a number in binary. Now I'm assuming you know how to do this. So I'll just fast forward and tell you that this is equal to 100101. And that's how you write a number in binary. You put it in parentheses and you put a subscript of two. Now the binary expansion of this is very simple. Take a look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six bits. The rightmost bit, which is this number is position zero, followed by position one, two, three, four, and five. So the binary expansion of this is one times two to the power of five plus zero times two to the power of four plus zero times two to the power of three. And you get the idea. Notice that each bit represents the leading factor in these terms. And because this number is in binary, we have a power with the base of two raised to the exponent depicting its position in the number. So let's continue. Plus one times two to the power of two plus zero times two to the power of one. And finally, plus one times two to the power of zero. This term, that term, and that term cancel out. One times two to the power of five is 32 plus one times two to the power of two is four, plus one times two to the power of zero is one. Altogether, this amounts to 37. Now that we've completed step number one, in step number two, we have to compute every m value leading up to 32. In other words, we must compute m to the power of two, m to the power of four, m to the power of eight, m to the power of 16, all the way to m to the power of 32. This right here, cannot exceed that value that we found in the binary expansion. Let me show you what I mean by all this. So to calculate m to the power of two, we'll take our value of m, which was this value, 3,128. We'll raise it to the power of two, which corresponds to this exponent, mod the value of 5,251. So we have to find out what 3,128 to the power of two is first, and then calculate mod 5251 of that. The remainder of this happens to be 1,771. Therefore, we will say that 3,128 to the power of two is congruent to 1,771 mod 5251. Now, using this value that we just found, we can actually calculate m to the power of 4 a lot easier. So watch this. m to the power of 4 is really no different than saying m to the power of 2 to the power of 2. We're just using basic exponent laws here. And what we're finding now is 1,771 to the power of 2 mod 5251. Again, we'll have to find out what this value is to the power of 2. 
then take mod of 5251 of that, you'll find that the remainder happens to be 1594. And we write this down as 1771 to the power of 2 is congruent to 1594 mod 5251. And we'll keep doing this until we reach m to the power of 32. Let's keep going. m to the power of 8 is no different than saying m to the power of 4 to the power of 2. So we'll take the value that we found, that remainder from before, 1594 to the power of 2, modulo 5251. The remainder of that value divided by 5251, I've calculated it already to be 4,603. And so we'll write down 1594 raised to the power of 2 is congruent to 4603 mod 5251. We've got two more to do. So next we'll have m to the power of 16, which is made up of m to the power of 8 to the power of 2. The value that we found was 4603 to the power of 2 now, mod 5251. This ends up giving us a remainder of 5,075. And so we say 4603 to the power of 2 is congruent to 5075, mod 5251. And we have one more to do before we can move on to step 3. And this time it will be m to the power of 32, which is made up of m to the power of 16 to the power of 2. Let me just separate the work from before. So we'll take 5075, raise it to the power of 2, mod 5251. We end up getting a final remainder here of 4721. And so we write our findings as 5075 to the power of 2 is congruent to 4721 mod 5251. We're done with step number 2. To find m to the power of 37 mod n, which is our case, remember our m value we started off with was 3128, and the n value was 5251, and using our binary expansion, where we had 32, 4, and 1, we'll be using those remainders and multiplying them together, which we denote with this uppercase pi, denoting the product of what we found for m to the power of 32 times m to the power of 4 times m to the power of 1 mod 5251. So what were those values that we found? For m to the power of 32, we found that the remainder was 4,721 times the remainder for m to the power of 4 was 1,771, and m to the power of 1 is simply the number that we started with, m. And remember, that was 3,128. All of those gets multiplied mod 5251. So by multiplying these three numbers out, yes, we will get a really large product, but it's still a lot smaller than the one that we started with, which would have amounted to 130 digits. And so it turns out that if we were to multiply these three out, we get the number 235-390-57072 mod 5251. And again, this is a lot more manageable than 130 digits. It turns out that if we find the modulo of this number with 5251, we get a remainder of 296. So to summarize our findings, we can say 3128 to the power of 37 is congruent to 296 mod 5251. And so that's our answer. If you would like to see the solution to the next example using the square and multiply algorithm, please leave me a comment in the comment section. I will gladly upload the solution if anyone is interested. Thank you so much for watching.